Oh. Hey everybody, what's going on? It is Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Man, it's been a while since I've done a video and I really miss making these videos. It, they're just dear to my heart. You guys know my passion, it's about robotics. So I'm just glad to be bringing you another video. So the direction for today's video is gonna be for teachers like myself that are at the elementary level and you're looking to get some type of robotics experience for your students. So that's my um, situation right now. I'm teaching second grade and I'm like, let me get my students, let me get their hands on something robotics. And I wanna stick with Lego. Um, nothing, I don't wanna say anything bad about VEX, just my experience with VEX in the past has been a little sketchy, wonky, whatever you call it. Um, the parts, the pieces have just been not to my liking. And so I'm going to stick with Lego. And let me go ahead and break it down for you. For those of you that are trying to figure out, hey, what kind of robotics kit do I get my students, my children, if you're a parent? Um, let me go ahead and, and I'll eventually tell you what my decision is going to be. And so we have um, um, obviously Spike Prime, which is very popular right now. And the price, let me make sure I get this right. For Spike Prime, it's going to be $384.99 on the Lego.com, uh, like Lego Education. Now, I know you're going to probably say eBay, I can get it cheaper. But, you know, if you're going to have a school or district pay for your robotics kits, you don't want to mess around with auctions or things that can fluctuate. And it's better if we just get it from directly from them. And you do get free shipping if you order from Lego Education. So $384.99. And you know, the, there was another option in my mind. I have worked with the Inventor Kit before. And the only issue is, now the, the Lego Inventor has more pieces. Um, the only issue is right now they're currently out of stock. And that kind of makes me weary of going in that direction. You know, do I want to wait for it? And my thinking is, man, if they are out of stock, how am I supposed to be guaranteed that they're going to have enough kits for my students, let alone, you know, possibly if we go, you know, grade wise, getting enough kits for the entire grade. I don't want to fall into a position where we're waiting, we're out of stock. We have some, we might have none. And so... And then you also have the flip side of, I thought I possibly could go the we do direction. And unfortunately, we do, both 1.0 and 2.0, are officially retired. And so um, that's going to just send me down. I could have had the option of EV3, but you know, you know about EV3 being retired. I'm not going to go that direction, and plus they're super expensive also. And so when it all boiled down to uh, my situation right now, which is very exciting, in Maryville right now, robotics is not necessarily on the front page of any curriculum. It's not, you know, on the, when I've asked around, it's like, um, no, we're not, you know, some um, STEM teachers are doing robotics, but nothing Lego. And the, as far as the junior high and the high school, I have not seen anything as far as competitions. You know, I thought I might find something online. And so right now it's very, um, it's, it's exciting because it feels like it could just take off. It really hasn't taken off like it did for me back in California, where it just seemed like everybody was doing robotics competitions. And it just, you know, there was almost a situation where, hey, there almost feels like there's too many student schools doing it, where there was a, an explosion of teams. It's exciting right now because it just feels like it could just take off at any moment. If, you know, the junior highs and the intermediate schools found out, you know, that we were doing robotics, they might feel that desire, hey, we better have something ready for when these elementary school kids come up, you know, and the parents might say, hey, my son or daughter did robotics in the elementary. How come there's nothing for them at the intermediate junior high? And so I can just feel like this thing could just take off. And so I'm deciding to go with Spike Prime. And what's really cool is, you know, our school district has, or our school actually has so much money and our district that it almost feels like they're, you know, ready to just hand over enough money 
for whatever we would need. And so right now I'm gonna I'm gonna just go with Spike Prime and have my students. We're gonna just see if we can start off slow, you know, just introduce it in class. I didn't use Spike Prime a lot back in California with my middle school just because we had so much EV3. You know, there wasn't enough to give kits to, you know, Spike Prime to everybody. And so now I'm gonna just dive into Spike Prime, see everything about it, programming it. Our district or our school are, you know, are using iPads. So obviously that's gonna change the way we program. And so it's just real neat to be able to say, hey, we're on that verge. And, you know, um, competing wise, there really isn't a lot of competition um, at the elementary level. It's going to be um, not as it was um, in challenge. Um, it's going to be the adventure division, and there really isn't a competition competition, if you know what I mean. They do have teams, they do have a project, um, but it's nothing where they get judged. So, you know, that, that can come down the line. Obviously, we can do something like a sumo competition, or if it's just maybe school-wide or school against school. But really, what's really neat is that can come down the line as soon as, you know, things can take off. So, you know, personally for myself, I'd love to just be able to get used to everything elementary, take it real slow, and then, you know, just get my bearings and see where this can take off. But I definitely don't want to dive in right, right away because I don't feel like I'm settled in with just my class, the school. I, I feel like I need to improve that get my bearings and then when i feel like i can make that move make that move and say hey let's bring in robotics but i definitely want to get my hands on at least one kit and at least try to get you know move in that direction where i can know what i'm doing get my students then get them kits so you know i'm gonna probably have to write some grants to get money to supply either my class or enough for the you know where we can rotate my class can do robotics and we could rotate with other teachers. So we're looking at, you know, maybe 10 or 11 spike prime kits and then just take it from there. So definitely be checking out how this can roll as the you know school year rolls along. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Mr. Hino. I teach robotics, you know, well, I taught robotics and my goal is just get back in here in Tennessee and continue the robotics, you know, just continue that because I just love when the kids eyes light up and they figure out that robotics is so cool. So thank you so much for joining me. Subscribe if you have not, because this ride is about to get really cool. And I'm just going to see how getting that one spike prime kit, figuring out how everything's going to work. And then hopefully, you know, as the year goes on, get more of those kits for my students and then see how this is going to roll in Tennessee. Okay, guys. So hit that subscribe, that like button, um, hit that bell so that, you know, right now my schedule of pumping out robotics videos is going gonna, is gonna to be very sporadic. So definitely hit that bell. So if I do upload something, you'll be the first to know. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. And I'm Mr. Hino and I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys? Take care.